Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel to get your daily Bible verse and Bible chapter. I hope you have a great day and come back each and every day for a new verse and a new chapter. Thank you and God bless. Hello everybody. Today's shout out goes to a special follower that has been a friend of mine since I was five years old. But he's also been more than a friend. His name is Clint. And like I said, I've known him since I was five years old. And we're both 42 now. Thank you for your friendship for all these years. You're very special to me. Second Chronicles chapter 21 Jehoshaphat dies, leaving his son Jerem to rule Judah. Jerem's got a couple younger brothers, but when he becomes king, he has them killed. Sibling robbery, we think they call it. The chronoseer is pretty clear that the new king is terrible. He's just like those kings up in the northern kingdom of Israel. And why not? He's the son who married King Ahab's daughter, Athea. Maybe he learned his wicked ways from her. But even though God has a thing For smitting the wicked, he doesn't mess with Jerem. God did promise that David's descendants would always reign, reign and Jerem, bad as he is, is a descendant of David. So, free pass? Not quite. It's a rough reign for Jerem. Edom is under Judah's control until that country rebels. Libna also has some issues with the new king because he's not following God. Things are so bad that Elijah, a super famous prophet from the northern kingdom of Israel, writes to him. He lets the king Jerem know that he has totally gone astray. He's nothing like his father or grandfather who at least tried to follow God. He's corrupt, corrupted Judah as much as they have corrupted Israel. As a punishment, God is going to make things difficult for the people in Judah. Elijah predicts that Jerem himself will catch a horrible stomach disease, and die in the grosset. And most painful way possible, especially his bowels will fall out.
God follows through with his threats. He gets the Philistines, Arabs, and Ethiopians to attack Judah. They sick, they sack and loot the city, kill all Jerome's wives and sons, except for the youngest one. To top it off, God gives Jerem that incurable bowel disease. The king wastes away for two years before his insides finally liquefy and fall out. It's incredibly painful. Because he was such a bad king, no one in Judah really cares when he, when Jerem dies. They did not build any fires like they did to honor the passing of former kings. And they did not bury him with the other kings. Today's verse is Matthew 7, 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Matthew 7, 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. One of my favorite verses is Philippians 4, 13. And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you have your own favorite verse, please put that down below and let me know what it is. Matthew 7, 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Matthew 7, 7. Always remember to smile, because you never know what a smile can do for someone's day. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can remember to watch each and every day's video. Thank you for the ones that have been with me from the beginning. Please help me expand my ministry. Thank you and God bless.